how you doing guys welcome to another episode uh, in this episode we're working on a 2009 uh, Nissan Rogue and uh, if you can see right there um, CV axle uh, broke so we are replacing the CV axle and uh, really easy to do it's not really complicated the only thing that you need to do is remove these two bolts I will remove them um, you have to mark them before uh, you remove them. If you can see when they were on the knuckle, I put marks on the knuckle, put marks here on the uh, on the suspension. So before I remove them, I mark them so you don't have to mess with the alignment. And uh, to remove those, you need a 21 millimeter. If you have power tools, good to use them. You're gonna need them. I removed those two bolts. I marked them first, 14 millimeter for the for the steering, uh, 14 millimeter. And uh, the only thing that I need to do, I I don't have the tool to to remove it, so I just uh, hit it with the hammer right here, really light. Uh, this is a 2009; it's not rusty, so I hit it like a couple times and came right off. To remove the axle nut, I'm using. 1114 uh, socket uh, with my power tool obviously uh, really easy to do and because this drive shaft is really is, is bad anyways I just I just hit it with the hammer in the middle don't hit the studs I hit it with the hammer until it came out okay guys and um, I remove already the axle nut I remove everything around, uh, brake, to remove the, the caliper, you just have to remove the two bolts in the inside, those two right here, and uh, those are 17, 17 millimeters, and uh, to remove the, the dry shaft, uh, the axle, to remove it, uh, there is only two uh, bolts right here, they're holding the plate, one in here on the bottom. Uh, and one on the top, those are 13 millimeters. You remove those and you put a uh, something underneath because it's gonna drop some transmission fluid. After you change the dry shaft, make sure that you put like half a quarter of transmission fluid. It has to be a uh, Nissan, don't buy uh, uh, from the auto, uh, auto parts store, so it has to be the, the manufacturer uh, transmission fluid. And uh, I just gonna remove it right now, those two bolts and uh, remove the dry shaft I already got the new one right here there's a new axle and uh, we removed that one you can see right here it's got a lot of play, it's broke and the car vibrates a lot when you drive it so so it's time to replace it make sure that when you uh, remove your brake caliper uh, use a bungee cord to hold it don't hold it on the brake line because uh, you're gonna damage the brake line we're just gonna remove the the cv axle and then let's put a new one and uh, put some uh, transmission fluid and it should be ready to go when you remove everything when you put everything back this uh nut this lug nut is gonna be uh, this center nut is gonna be torqued down to 134 pounds of torque so uh, let's get to it Okay, um, to remove it, like I said, I use a 13 millimeter socket. I use a couple extensions to my impact.
we will put the axle we just got had to time those bolts then just gotta put the everything back together and uh, replace these two bolts make sure that you align the knuckle uh, with the marks that's why it's important to mark this put everything back together put the brakes and then uh, just put uh, I didn't drop a lot of transmission fuel but when I check the level we had to put I already told the owner to get some uh, Nissan transmission fluid and then you put everything back together guys and that's how you replace a CV axle on a 2000 and 2009 Nissan Rogue so I hope you like this video guys this is very simple easy uh, power tools are very important if you have them use them because that makes everything a lot easier so in the manual says that you don't supposed to reuse this one the center lug nut and we get a new one but that one is a little bit bigger so we have here 36 millimeter socket and uh, that should do it okay so I'm not gonna reuse this one I'm just gonna reuse I use the new one put everything back together and uh, that's it guys I hope you like this video this is really quick easy to do uh, not really complicated you can do this in like half an hour uh, and uh, that's that's it for this video guys I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one peace